Mahjong could be media for many forms of art. It could be used to build sculptures or as small canvases for painting and engraving, or be the subject of literary and visual arts. In the process of making mahjong, art and craft are involved in engraving the graphics and words on bamboo and later plastic tiles, and then inlaying the engraved recesses with paint. As an architect and designer, art is very important. Words is doing jobs for clients to earn living. Doing art is a bit like scientists taking initiative to do research for personal growth and development. It makes one know his passions and edges and get prepared for chances. And many of my ventures start from these no-purpose art creations. Let's get back to the subject of crafting art. Despite I've learned for a short time the traditional skill of engraving the Chinese seals, it's far from easy to engrave mahjong after trying it. To take the wear and tear in shuffling and discarding, mahjong tiles are mostly made in very hard thermal setting plastic melamine to craft the circles and lines for the dots and bamboo shoots. Special tools are needed while crafting the characters require long years of practice and trainings. With the mass production process of making mahjong tile by casting plastic on mold and the use of laser in cutting graphics on the mahjong tiles, the traditional graph of engraving mahjong tiles is vanishing. As people are no longer easy to make a living out of it, and few people are prepared to take years in picking up the skill. Karen is the daughter of a mahjong maker sifu, Mr. Wiki Jun. These traditional sifu are no longer easy to find in Hong Kong. Being an illustrator, Karen created a creative brand, Karen Aruba, with mahjong in JCCAC, hoping to share the art and craft of mahjong through workshops led by his father and her own artistic creations. She has recently run an art show, Beyond Borders of Mahjong, in the gallery Hong Kong Imaging in Wan Chao. The process of crafting mahjong involves some special tools. But before we start, Master Jung shared a tip to make the mahjong softer and easier to craft by warming up them over a light box. For making the docks, special hand drills are used to make the bamboo tiles and the rectangular frames of the white tiles. Knives are with paired teeth are used while more traditional crafting knives held at a low angle are used in making the freeform characters, birds, and flower tiles. Experienced people like Master Jung do not need to draft any outline in advance and craft direct onto the tiles. After the crafting, the recesses are painted and then shaded off to become color inlay. The closest form of art related to this is the traditional Chinese art of silk engraving, which was added to the list of intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO in September 2009. The seal engraving art is considered an extension of ancient Chinese calligraphy, descended from the engraving inscription on turtle shells. The Chinese seal art is vanishing because seals are no longer part of our daily life as representation of signatures, except for those Chinese painters use them to sign off their paintings. Nevertheless, it's such an interesting art to appreciate, learn, and share. Master like Tai Ba said, have brought. The art to such a height that it becomes an actual art regardless of their semiotic meanings. The body material like special stone, jade, and ivory have also become collectible on their own. Important seals like those used by the kings were not only carved in valuable material like jade, but could also be cast in metal. Chinese seal got two forms. Those with lines and strokes appear positively as yang or zhu wen, meaning words in red. And those with character appears negative pieces as yin or bai wen, meaning words in white, just like the engraving of mahjong tiles. Versus mahjong, which people read direct as how they are engraved, seals are carved in mirror images so that they can be read normally after stamping. The contents of seals range from identities of individuals, private studio and authority, to graphical and free expression of personal philosophy and literary inclination. I see mahjong as a potential medium to rejuvenate the traditional art of the Chinese seal. But knowing the difficulty for most people in crafting very hard plastic, I have tried a different process. I first start crafting in softer material like plaster, and then casting them into resin tiles by going through an intermediate process of the silicon mold. Apart from overcoming the difficulty in crafting, this process also provides people to create not only line art but also more sculpture-like relief. One may create tiles for his own name, words, and pets, 
The making of silicon molds also allows people to reproduce these tiles into gift items like keychains or even pairs of artistic earrings. Hope we can do some demo in future for this process. This proves again the potential of Mahjong as a medium for creativity.